so what was your favorite thing? My favorite was the final thing that screened, actually. Mm -hmm. The last thing I saw at Cannes, which was Lynn Ramsey's new movie, um, You Were Never Really Here. And uh, this was a film that people knew essentially nothing about. The program, When the programmers saw it, it wasn't even finished. Mm -hmm. When we saw it, I'm not entirely sure it's 100% done. There are no credits for one thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but essentially, it's sort of Ramsey's uh, sort of scattered, fragmentary version of of a kind of gritty noir. I mean, uh, Joaquin Phoenix plays this this sort of enforcer slash muscle who uh, essentially gets in a situation where he's trying to rescue a, a teenage girl from a prostitution ring. Mm -hmm. And so there, there's a very taxi driver ish center to this film. But it plays out in this just this totally hypnotic. This totally engrossing style of Ramsey's that that it, where essentially we're sort of one foot is in the present, the other foot is in the past, mm -hmm. um, and she's sort of helping us occupy the Phoenix character's uh, sort of fractured headspace mm -hmm. through a lot of it. Um, and he's very—I mean, I've never seen him look this big. You know, it's like uh, I, I think I think I would have to assume that Phoenix put on a lot of weight for this role, mm -hmm. but he just there's something massive and fearsome about him in this movie. Oh man! Uh, and uh, Ramsey, by the way, is a Scottish director, right? Yes. She is um, first got attention with wonderful debut, Ratcatcher, yes. almost 20 years ago, I think, at this point, was Ratcatcher. 2000, Nine, I think, oh, it was 2000 or 1999. Yeah. And then Morven Collar, mm -hmm. uh, her follow-up with Samantha Morton, and then she didn't make movies for quite a while. My right. understanding is she had some high-profile projects fall through. Like, she tried to make she The Lovely the Bones. And then Peter that Jackson. Quite famously, yeah, yeah. As a low-budget film, yeah. and then Peter Jackson swept in and made the very expensive movie that we all remember and love <laughs> when we watched The Lovely Bones every every week. Um, and then d came back with We Need to Talk About Kevin. Right, which and, was also at Cannes a few yeah. years ago, yeah. Um, and this applies, I think, some of the sort of, uh, some of the things she's doing stylistically in that movie with uh, this sort of expressionistic collage of images and, and the sense that we're sort of being torn in and out of people's memories. Mm -hmm. It applies that to a really kind of um, vicious genre scenario. Um, but vicious, but simultaneously tender. There are moments in this that are incredibly violent, but that are capped with a, with, with a sort of unexpected turn towards tenderness and empathy. Um, it's really, it's an incredible film, and it was, it was incredible to end the festival with this movie.